do you notice similarities in between Mao's attempt to destroy Chinese culture, history, language, and our government's attempt to to hide our history and change our history, lie about our history to the population. That's exactly the same thing. History is so important. And as we know that uh, whoever control uh, the present, control the past. And whoever controlled the past, controlled the future. That's what CCP did when they took over China in 1949. They totally took over the uh, educational system. They remade the curriculum, but what they really put their energy and the focus on is to rewrite history. Yeah. So the history that I learned, and even today I have to get rid of uh, all this misinformation that I received as a schoolgirl and later in college, all fictional, absolutely fictional. But that's how they control you. You believe that the CCP is our savior. Mao is our savior to save us, to liberate us from the oppression of those, uh, you know, impressionism, imperialism, feudalism, and capitalism. And you believe it. And people ask me, um, did you question? I said, how could I question? I was told one thing. I have no access to other information. I could not think. Thinking requires you know something, you have information, you have different sources of information, and hopefully you can go through them and come up with your own conclusion. That's critical thinking, right? When you have only one information, you can't think. I can yes. only think one way. That's mouse way. That's the correct way. And I have been like that for a long time. Some people will say that they see through things during the culture, not me. I'm totally into it. I am totally accept everything I was told, no matter how absurd it was, I accept it. Because party can't be wrong. Mao can't be wrong.